There's some breaking news coming from the little repair shop known as Guitar Quackery. We're going to be doing some live streaming, but just like everything else we do here, we're going to do it differently. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you want to make history, you're going to have to come up with something new and do something that's never been done before, which is why I'm starting a new channel called Guitar Quackery Live. Not to be confused with this channel, which is called Guitar Quackery, without the word live in its title. The other channel is called Guitar Quackery Live. It's, a, it's an auxiliary channel uh, that's dedicated to live streaming. So I'll be live streaming. Now, live streaming has been done before, but to the best of my knowledge, no one is doing live streaming from the workbench the way that I'll be doing it. In fact, I'm already doing it. So that's where history is being made. And you can be part of that history in the making if you click on the subscribe button. Well, I mean, on the other channel. Of course, you should, you should and should click the subscribe button on this channel, but you should also visit the other channel, Guitar Quackery Live. I'll put a link below and click on the subscribe button on that channel. And I, I think you also need to click the bell notification so that you get notified when I am live streaming because there won't be scheduled live streams. I'll be streaming when I have something to work on on my workbench. Um, I'll only be streaming maybe two, two days, maybe three days a week, perhaps one or two uh, weekdays and one day on the weekend, I think Saturday. Um, so if you want to catch me at work in real time, the only way that you can do that is by subscribing to the other channel. You'll get notified and then you can watch me work in real time. Um, so, uh, those aren't going to be tutorials. Those are just going to be, you know, uh, live streams. Yeah. Uh, I might be talking about what I'm doing. I might be talking about other things, probably something guitar related, right? And you can feel free to post chat messages. And then I might take a little break from the, you know, workbench, read the chats, and then go back to work and perhaps answer some of the questions. This is an idea that uh, I've been developing for a few years um, since the COVID lockdown. Uh, so during the COVID lockdown, I wanted to keep the you know, repair business going. And I came up with the idea of doing Zoom diagnostics. In fact, that's precisely why I equipped this office with all this equipment, right? So um, I would do curbside pickup and delivery, and then I would do Zoom diagnostics and assessments of the guitar. And then we would discuss what services were needed. Okay, um, so that kind of worked out, but I always had the idea of doing live streams and I can't do them from here really because this is not really my workshop, uh, but that's why I equipped the actual workshop with the same kind of equipment. Now, obviously I use uh, all those cameras for um, the content that I publish on this channel, but the live streams are different because there will not be any editing uh, involved. So uh, those are going to be, you know, long live streams, um, not for everyone, but if you feel that you like to watch uh, me work in real time, um, you know, at my workbench, um, uh, that's the way to do it. Uh, so far I've been streaming. Um, I started actual live streams in August of this year, which is 2024. And so far, um, the live streams were private. So I would just text a link to my customer and say, Hey, uh, if you want to watch me work on your guitar, just click on the link and the customers would watch and I uh, got some good feedback. Um, so live streams get archived 
and I have, I think, over 65 archived live streams. I'm going to make some of them public. Some of them had some technical difficulties, and some of them, you know, I just don't like the way uh, things worked out with the cameras. Uh, but I'll, I'll make a bunch of them um, public now. And from now on, from this moment onwards, I'll be live streaming publicly um, every time I do a live stream. There you go. Um, so that's interesting. Now, one thing to uh, keep in mind is that um, during the course of my work, sometimes interesting situations occur unexpectedly. And often I wish I could stop the work and, you know, do a recording for this channel, but I can't always do that. Uh, but now with the live streams, those situations will automatically be recorded and archived. In fact, some situations already occurred during some of the live streams. And uh, I am going to show you a clip from one of the live streams. Uh, it involves um, a modification of, so, so it's not quite a parts caster. Um, I'll be swapping a neck on, uh, on a guitar that has a bolt-on neck. And the new neck is a custom-made quarter-son neck. So if you ever work with a quarter-son bolt-on neck, there's actually a very important detail that no one seems to be talking about that I explain in that live stream. So I am going about to show you a clip from that live stream right now, right? So welcome back to Guitar Quackery. And also, welcome to Guitar Quackery Live. You can see the growth rings from the top going up and down. Okay. I mean, parallel to the skunk stripe. But here you can see if the growth rings are in fact uh, going up and down. This camera is a little bit too close, it can't focus. So let's have a look at that. They're going up and down. So now, uh, if these screws are too tight, it will split, okay, along the grain, simply. Just like the way wood splits when you hit it with an ax, okay? So with quarter saw necks, it's super important that these holes are not too tight. And right now, I can feel this is too tight. This is too tight, definitely. Uh, the other neck was not quarter sawn, the one I just removed. Okay, so we can look at this neck and compare. Okay, right there, we're focused. So these growth rings are going in this direction. So if these screw holes, if these screws are too tight, it's far less likely to split along the grain. But if there was a hole here, then it would split if it was too tight. I uh, hope this makes sense. Okay, that was it. Uh, there were some other interesting situations that uh, occurred during the experimental um, phase of the live streams. And now those are being archived. Interestingly, uh, because I don't have to do any editing, uh, so far I have over 60 archived live streams. For now, I am keeping um, most of them unlisted. I need to decide which ones to actually publish. Uh, so I'll, I'll just publish a few of them just to kind of release them to the public. And then um, more of the old ones will be 
or the early ones will be released to the public. Uh, one reason why I'm not releasing all of them to the public is because some of them had some technical issues because that was the experimental period, right? Uh, but from now on, as we speak, every single live stream will be streaming live publicly. Mm. And um, yeah, and the customer will still get a private message and that's it. Oh, the other thing that I'm doing is I have a monitor outside at the studio where there's like a waiting area and um, the content will be streamed on that monitor. Now you won't see that, uh, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, so Guitar Quackery is just a small um, workshop, workshop, no, uh, repair shop um, inside of a large rehearsal studio. The studio is called Bob Elliott's Music Makers NY, fantastic rehearsal studio in New York City in Manhattan. Uh, and I rent a little space, right? So two separate businesses, but we work together like this and uh, help each other out. And that's it. By the way, the guitars that you see on the wall, um, when you have a view from my you know, main camera in a repair shop, those are not guitars that, um, those are not my customers' guitars. Those are rental guitars that belong to the studio, right? Just in case you're wondering. Am I forgetting anything? I don't know, but we'll be seeing each other soon.